the snow is really dangerous. Like, it really is. Like I told Carla before, y'all couldn't really hear me. But you could be driving and doing everything you're supposed to do. But if the person next to you or the people next to you start piling up or slipping and sliding and they slide to you, you have no control over that. When people choose to join the trucking industry, it is for several reasons. The money, a way out of their hometown, or maybe just passion and a love for driving big trucks. When Carla and I joined this industry, we knew that we would have to dedicate one year as company drivers, which consisted of running five to 6,000 miles per week, driving through inclement weather, and having very little say-so on the loads we'd run. So after completing one year as company drivers, we had one goal in mind. Gain as much control as possible. Carla, she had went and knocked first, um, and I guess he came out. He didn't really maybe understand her, and um, so he just went and laid back down. So now we're asking him to just go and move. I just told him to move. He said, oh, you, I think you think maybe we're about to leave, but he'll get the picture when we just move up in the parking spot. Yeah, so I we ain't pulling back far like this no more when it comes to these spots because I ain't never knew that somebody would be bold enough to do that. Now, I can understand if it was one of them spots where they pull behind you or y'all both can leave at any time, but not just block you in like that. That's fucked up. Oh, he think you... <laughs> So what now? Is he just sitting there? That's how you know his English is just not all that good. And there he go. Moving on, find him a spot. Did he look over there? I don't know. Hell, he probably didn't let all the spots get taken up. Well, he gone now, baby. You feel better? Yes. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of requests, so we finally did it. We added new merch to our website. When you order and receive your merch, send us a selfie or video to our email to be featured on our channel in 2020. Peace. Good morning, y'all. Oh my goodness, so today is Monday. Give you a little details on this load. Um, I'm gonna leave you two pictures. It's early in the morning, I'm sure you probably can tell that by the way I look. But um, yesterday, which was Sunday, when we woke up, <laughs> our body felt like a pound of bricks just landed on us. Oh my goodness, it was just, it was rough, so I didn't vlog at all. I just had to, you know, get through it, but we did still have a good time. Um, but this load here, oh, babe, the load is only 170 pounds. It's only one piece. 
Um, and we're picking it up in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're taking it all the way up to uh, Des Plaines, Illinois. Wonder how far that is from Chicago. Let me see real quick. But yeah, we're taking it up to Illinois now. I really don't know how we're gonna play this, so we're gonna try to head to that little pocket. It's really gonna depend on what they send. But we're gonna try to head to that little pocket, or or we're going to um, let me see here. Uh, try to kind of make keep stay Midwest type because we have to make sure we make it home by a certain time because we have to um, take care of some business. It's 20 miles away from Chicago, so it shouldn't be hard for Chicago is a good area for what we do. So it shouldn't be hard for us to um, to get out of this area. And really, the there's no limits to where we could go. Um, so. But we know we're not going back west. But other than that, I mean, uh, we, we st it still was a great experience doing the little treehouse thing. I don't know what we were thinking doing that, what I was thinking booking that, but I'm glad I did because, Carly, were you mad at me after? No, I wasn't mad. It's like now I can look at the experience and even talking about it, I smile oh. because I had a good time. Yeah. And see, and that's the thing, like, what I was trying to do, all, all the little things I was uh, booking, the double bikes and, you know, the, the place at Hilton Head and the, the treehouse thing, it's like, just things that help us bond because, like I said, we've been together for a total of five years, married for one of those years, we just hit our one year wedding anniversary, and I just want to make sure we keep that line of communication open, we just had a really good talk last night made me realize why I love her even more <laughs> about to make my little eyes water up but um it's just you know when you're in a relationship you just gotta really keep that line of communication open compromise and just try to make it work if you really love that person try to remember why you got with that person in the first place and you know Carla and I we're on the internet now but that's why I have to make sure I do double checks triple checks quadruple checks to make sure we're both good because you can get so caught up and let this be another form of income, um, especially when it really start paying, that, you know, y'all start faking. And I try to make sure we're good. So, anyway, that just said my piece. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Honey. Did you enjoy your one-year anniversary stuff? I did. Good. And let me tell you, okay, so we are kind of in a predicament. We done got so spoiled and just so used to this new lifestyle that <laughs> if you as a matter of fact so this is our second time doing vlogmas last year we did vlogmas we were company drivers at prime inc if you have not seen that playlist make sure especially if you're new or getting ready to come out here and track the trailer or something make sure you watch that playlist because we show everything even down to riding through snow white owls accidents um dealing with not taking a load because we don't feel safe just all this type of stuff you have to do as a company driver track the trailer so make sure you watch that playlist i'll make sure i link it now um we're in a situation because we have a little bit more freedom we have a little bit more um yeah freedom to make decisions that we want to do there was a load that just came through it's still on there on the low board and it picks up in minneapolis minnesota and it drops in massachusetts it is paying a lot it is offering to pay a lot of money like you don't have to bid or nothing it is it is a really good i think it already it'll put you that one load alone will put you at a level you know, i gotta look at the uh the levels it'll put you at a level two um i know people probably say oh, it's level two but no that's good money it's, it's decent money especially only run one load the thing is it's up in Minneapolis, and I was about to put in for it, but then Carl was like, well, wait a minute. What about the weather? Because I was wondering why they offer so much money for that load. It's nothing special, no hazmat or nothing. And then I look, and then I see, like, just a lot of snow, a lot of shit going on up there. So then me and Carla had to have a conversation. Okay, do we want to deal with that, try to get that quick money, or do we not? So that's kind of where we're at. We're trying to decide if... We want to go that route or we just want to go take this load up like i said before 
Chicago is not a bad area, so we, it won't be an issue getting some out of there. Now, it may not be as high paying as that low, but man, um, we're not. I think we're. I don't think we're gonna do it. Um, and it's mainly because we just don't want to deal with with what what that's gonna come with. We don't want to have to drive. Um, we just don't want to deal with it because this is what I say. I mean, there's going to be times where we will drive through snow and where we have to drive through snow. Now, unless they come back and they offer, if they really need help and they offer like some just even more unbeatable than what it already is, then maybe we'll do it. So I guess you're going to have to find out later. But, um, like, it, it, driving the snow is really dangerous. Like, it really is. Like I told Carla before, y'all couldn't really hear me. But you could be driving and doing everything you're supposed to do, but if the person next to you or the people next to you start piling up or slipping and sliding and they slide to you, you have no control over that. So we just try to stay away from it as much as we can. Now we don't mind driving through snow, but since we have the, the, the option to choose if we want to or not, and these loads are, you know, have been decent, decent pan is over or now it's really decent pan. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do it yet. Yeah, I just gonna have to see. pickup spot um did you look at it on google maps yet do it look like it's gonna be too crazy yeah i figured it wouldn't um there's some areas you it's just, you know you better make sure you see what it's looking like because it's gonna be a hot ass mess But nothing special about this load. This is a temperature load. The set point is at, I think, 10 degrees Celsius. Um, sometimes we have to use Celsius. Sometimes we have to use Fahrenheit. Um, of course, we could convert it, but who wants to do all that? So, whatever the customer wants us to use, that's what we use. Florida is so beautiful. 
don't know if you have. Okay. Coming down here. I don't know if y'all remember that conversation we had a long time ago. We were talking about where we wanted to move. And I was mentioned uh, Arizona. Um, but Florida, that's another place where I was like, mm, maybe not like the bottom of Florida, but maybe like the middle part because you get the benefit of getting that good weather. You know they have a gate and everything for yeah. looking at Google Maps, huh? <laughs> Google Map, Google Earth, let's get it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be some pretty easy parking right here. Nick, I'm glad that the cabin can extend out and smack you in She the looks happy this Monday morning, don't she? Well, that's good. You know, usually they don't be looking happy like that. My mama, she walked to her work today. She was like, I'm feeling pretty good for a Monday morning. <laughs> she looked like she's pretty cool. Hey, girl. You know, everybody be refreshed. Huh? Everybody be refreshed after that weekend. All right, keep that same jolly energy when we come up there. <laughs> hey, girl. Good morning. Good. Morning. Good. What? Carry? Yeah, oh, 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 no, 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 I'm not for it, no. <laughs> Talk about carry your big <laughs> self. It is too big to carry. I used to say it, my boss was like, you gotta tell him, like, because we were used to just let him walk him out, right? And then my boss is like, they're not allowed to walk on the property at all. And I'm like, okay, so you gotta carry it. So the next truck that comes in, big ass, pulled yes. up. He's like, you want me to carry this? He's like, yeah, we ain't gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> Y'all disrespectful. Nick Got that lady out there thinking I'm big as hell. I ain't that big. I lost two pounds. After running around on the beach, I lost two pounds. How much did you lose? That guy's running to over there in that yellow jacket. Yes. That he's running up to the shipping and receiving door. Okay. So you'll just kind of pull in, pull out of the way. Okay. And take your paperwork up to them and they'll let you know where they want you to dock it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. She has really good energy. Yes, she does. <laughs> All right, let's pick up this load. Hey, kid. The only person to be picking. Hey, kid. Hey, you see us? <laughs> What's your tongue hanging out your mouth? No, my tongue was not hanging out of my mouth. Well, I just asked because you know, usually when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> This is looking like kind of like a clusterfuck. It has potential to be one. I, let me just stay right here since I'm short. Yeah. Benefit of being short. Find the love and advice for you. Find your own girl. Don't mess with my girl. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. He didn't tell, give us a door yet? Nope. He said he would come out. Okay. Well, I guess I'm about to go to the back and relax. Mm. My body is still kind of sore. What about yours? Yeah, I need to take some more bear. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what we was thinking. Jumping through them trees like we was Tarzan or something. Girl, man. Sore as hell. Wake up. See the sky, see the clouds amongst the sun. See the day for everything it could be. Stop treading on that snooze button, run. Open your eyes and see everything it was, and is and will be all at once.
If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment below because we read all of our comments. We hope to see you all tomorrow at the same time because this is Vlogmas. Thanks everyone for your love and support. Peace. Open your eyelids. Swear outside of this lucid dream will come a silence. So keep dreaming, babies, and stay woke. But keep scheming, babies. Oh shit, it's a tidal wave of iPads. And an alt-right pirate with an eye patch. And a lip tart cyclops that will shut up about his climax. Support with daddy issues on a shock value tyrant.